Hello all, Dr. Fox back here with you with the weekend update. Oh, he hit Renown 60. That last chapter's open. We got some hot fixes to touch on. We got a few updates going on. A few other things. Let's get into this, shan't we? Dr. Fox back here with you with the weekend update. There's Miss Moore right up there for y'all to enjoy. We know you're here for her, not me. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's all good. Um, I think with that, I'm all ecstatic. Uh, the last chapter of 9-1 has now officially opened if you've been keeping up on the two renown per week pretty much and then each chapter that came out would give you one extra renown so as of this this past week you've been able to pretty much get to approximately renown 60 and that opens up that that last uh tier if you will and I'm all excited here. I want to show you folks my uh, exciting new... Uh, I had enough anima to pick up a transmog. I think part of it came with... So th this is the gorgeous new look. There is actually a white cape that came with this. And I was trying to find sort of a whitish... I know that's more of like a silver bluish bow. But I, there is another white bow out there. But I was trying to go with something along those lines. And then I had enough anima to buy like the halo back. And I said, okay, I'm going to do that. I don't have a ton of those great offerings. I know there's a way you can do it. You can go out and, and get your conduit to, to shoot to a certain direction. And then you got to unlock it. And then when you unlock it, you can redo it to unlock more permanent ones. And uh, they always said to really kind of set the permanent ones to the, to the ones that are daily to give you that chance at the six or eight... Uh, greater offerings each day that's really what i'm short on uh, at this point but uh we're, we're gonna touch on there were no huge big changes in the lawsuit uh but there have been uh let's see a couple of people had left overwatch for for their live overwatch uh as well we had uh a few other people uh as well we've had I'll, I'll put the link there's not really there's a lot of other things to touch on uh about that specific setup and i'm not going to get too bogged down with that if you will uh, i'm going to kind of leave it at that i did finally set up a buy me a coffee link i have that now in the description feel free to check that out if you'd so be kind to i don't tend to drink as much coffee it causes me migraines but really what it is it's like a buy me coffee but in this case i'll take a tea which is great you know we can sit and enjoy like a cup of tea while we sit and chat if you will and you're more than welcome to i don't want to sound like i'm begging though others will say otherwise and maybe that's what it sounds like but i did get that added and set up as well uh in the past uh so i thought i would add that in there and take a shot in the dark i mean don't have to you can come along remember there's always free options thank goodness uh, as well i don't have the patreon and we do have a patreon but i don't we don't do a lot with it right now and uh i just there's a lot of reasons for that but i'm not going to get into that too much uh for those that had purchased i know a lot of people had asked back the money for diablo 2 resurrection those that did still stay with the purchase of diablo 2 now that game is coming supposedly as they say stated it in september but as of this weekend, and I, sadly I've been so busy I haven't even had a chance because usually that was one of my favorite games. And uh, I do have access to beta and I've been meaning to download it, but to be honest I'm really low on gigs and I don't have enough money to add external gig right now. So you could say buy me an extra gig if you want to do something like that for a donation. It's, it's, uh, it's been kind of difficult. so. I've had to go in this direction just a little bit more because um, there's a whole list of reasons I'm not really going to get into right now. But Diablo 2 Beta is live for those that had purchased the Diablo 2 Resurrections. That does give you access to that beta this weekend. That did kick off yesterday, but I didn't have time for that. For those that are, are looking and excited for comic books, happy comic book day. We're actually recording this on comic book day. Usually I record this on Sundays last couple weeks i've been starting to record this on saturdays uh, it all varies i try to get the weekend update out during the weekend at some point let me put it that way but for those that know that it used to be the first part of may and because of COVID, it had been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and so it kind of finally got pushed back to august 14th it will most likely we'll have to see next year whether it goes back to may or maybe the following year of may or kind of 
I checked out some of the ones uh, the last few years. I, I kind of miss being able to go to like, there's a Chinese place now where we're in one of our local. I wasn't a big comic book person, but every once in a while there'd be like maybe a freebie that looked fairly fun and interesting to kind of read. And I looked at the list of the freebies this year. Nothing really tickled my fancy, if you will. So I'm good on that. Plus, I didn't really want to get out. I'm already getting out quite a bit lately anyway. Uh, so I think with that, uh, there was that bug in time walking, getting that 50 plus experience almost, or like this massive amount of experience. So they decided, you know what? Let's leave that in. So for those that are looking to get some alts or someone that hasn't fully leveled right now, great place to do that when the time walking comes back around. They've now added 50% extra XP during that week. And then if you get lucky with... I think you can stack the Dark Moon if that ever comes up again along that week. But it's so hard to do that because usually it doesn't quite line up that way. It's so rare to, to, to get that uh, as well. Double uh, Stygia yeah, out in the Maw uh, has also for the dailies. Uh, there's random conduit upgrades for your new path uh, through the conduit first. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to kind of touch on these very briefly. Uh, yeah, and then the uh, there is a big list of hot fixes that came out for Mythic Plus dungeons uh, for those that are still trying to get your your Mythic key, uh, and I think that that's mostly it. I'm excited. I've reconnected. If if she's watching this weekend uh, with my ex-wife, hello. Um, so send in some some shout out. I'm not sent, dropping any names here because it's it, those that know my channel know that I help protect those, uh, and I don't get too in depth, and I don't give reveal names or anything um it's just for their protection um uh, but it's been kind of nice just to kind of reconnect and have an opportunity to to talk in a positive way if you will so that that's been kind of nice and uh hello to you and your fam family if you're all tuning in this weekend and uh i i hit renowned 60 in game i was excited about that i've been trying to just kind of hunker down i've been really stressful this week i, I am proud of myself i think i dropped a, a hint last weekend about trying to get like my life insurance I, I i think that's in place and i say think because i'm waiting to hear back from someone next week but mainly as i did all the things i had to do this week and now it's the what we call the quote unquote waiting game to find out so i should find out more about that next week let's hope that's all in place for us i'm just trying to get that in place before surgery because god forbid i know it's they could a lot many will say that's a routine surgery uh, Dr. Fox, that list of surgeries. I'm not going to get into all depth of that. I'll talk more about that after I'm healing and come back. Like I said, there may be a small time frame there because after the surgery, as I've maybe mentioned or hinted at, for those that have continued to watch me, and I'm grateful for those that have kind of stuck around with me this long, um, and uh, it's it's just you know, that support, you know, kind of come along, hang out for a little bit. There's no no hidden agenda it's just or agenda if you will what's your agenda instead of agen agenda uh for those that that know that little play on words we like to play and miss moore has been my rock and it's i i just i've reached that point sometimes you get so stressed and you do your best to try to give yourself that little bit of like downtime and i had been so bum excuse me bombarded with stress from every different direction i i didn't really i mean i have a i had a couple of minutes here and there for downtime but it really wasn't effective enough because it had built up so bad i finally just broke down and cried the other day in front of my brother when i was bringing him home and it's just getting so overwhelming and kind of reached that point i try not to let myself get reach that point without having these kinds of downtimes but it's been so stressful with everything going on and i'm, I'm getting pulled left and right and dealing with a bunch of lawyers on a bunch of legal mess i'm not mumbo jumbo and stuff i'm not going to get into on here it's it's frivolous uh but it's more of a uh, it's not just sharing a weekend sometimes i use this especially with my tbi my traumatic brain injury i'll use this as sort of a, a way to go back and just for prosperity's sake and it and it helps me a lot with that uh just to have that so so i can help in some form or fashion for myself later because there's a lot of times i'll meet someone or see someone's face and uh, it'll break my heart that i can't remember them i mean i'm usually pretty good with visuals like wait no i do recognize that face but i can't put a name with it and that's just not from 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 old age uh, there's a whole mix of of things in there and you know you're doing everything to sort of keep your mind sharp or 
and so much more that you're trying to do and and uh, you can see i'm probably in my i'm trying to chill out today because this is i hope one of the last few me mega humid days that we've had too for a while and so i think uh we'll, we'll kind of get into game loop but i wanted to talk about a couple of the little goodies that i'm all excited about so you can see i was really really ecstatic to finally hit 60 but also and to finish that that final chapter again no spoilers don't worry about that those that know my channel know i won't drop spoilers uh, as well uh, i know some folks have been asking they kind of miss the uh, like my reaction videos but I haven't been able to, to do that for some time, not by choice. And I know a lot of people have kind of strayed and left this circumstance. And uh, it doesn't mean I'm not supporting them. I am in other ways. Uh, and and it's uh, it's been a really rough thing. I just, I would like I've said before, I'd love to see uh, Blizzard slash Activision kind of get back to that place. They they mentioned that in one of their, their updated letters recently about trying to reach that around 2025 or if God forbid someone mentions something like this they're like, oh, let's. there's a reason to get rid of them. Throw them out so they can sort of go back to their little negative ways of doing stuff. And I don't want to push buttons or, you know, or, or go that way in any form or fashion, but I think it's just, it's good that we're being realistic about the circumstance. We're not just being those ones that sort of put the blind eye, if you will, or the blind ears. I can't do the, the, the monkey um, eye, ear, and, you know, the three, <laughs> three traditional. Anyway, uh, so I think in game here before we get into the calendar um we're just gonna touch a little bit on those uh i'd love to have been able to sort of show everybody like the diablo 2 in the background like i said i'm a little, a little short on, on on room right now and i would just delete something but right now there isn't a lot i can really delete and i know my my uh my videos once they're uploaded i could do that if i wanted to or get an external hard drive again and sort of put it all over there so and i'm not going to be on too too long today because i had to shut the ac off and i know trying to fight fight my voice against when i'm doing my weekend update against that it's a little bit hard like when we're on our our discord weekend um, but that's that's slowly approaching for the, uh, the surgery and we're we're i'm just trying to shut that off so that that doesn't become an issue and it will be kind of become as that approaches the surgery uh it'll be a more struggle for me to be able to even speak for uh, i think it's about two weeks after i can't so i'll be using either a lot of sign language a lot of texting or a lot of notepad drawing or writing and i'm already struggling with writing it's already like with my wrist i'm already i've got carpal tunnel too and i have been officially diagnosed with it as well and i don't have the money for that surgery i have to do a different type of surgery right now that one has to be put on hold and i and i've got a deal uh, not by choice, and I'm doing the best I can over here and trying to function day to day. Um, but that's a story for a whole different day. Uh, and so I think with that, we're going to kind of touch on that. Of course, those that know are coming up this week. Remember, free t-shirt day. Here's a selfish plug for you. Uh, I have done all the t-shirt videos up, so by all means, don't forget to check out. I think I actually have, I'll put the link in there for that. There's a link that will take you to all my little t-shirts. And what I like to do is I think I actually put them in a fairly uh, decent order, uh, I think. And so I think you pretty much hit play and I think it will just do like my auto playlist for the t-shirt days. So if there's any specific one you're looking for you hadn't got yet, you weren't sure if you had. Remember, you can go to the vendor too in the capital and they'll be like shooting the little virtual free t-shirt uh, or shirts that kind of come out. Uh, of those as well and there's a few there to to get your hands on you can check out the free t-shirt they usually wowhead has um a post when that comes back up that's coming up on, on monday this week in retail uh for those that were wondering as well and then of course we've got the pvp brawl deep wind dunk that's going to be beginning chomp stomp that's ending that's going on right now for those that are doing the pvps as well battleground bonus event that's ending if you want your extra bonuses trust me if i had the time these would be the weeks that i would be doing battlegrounds right now and i'm not usually a huge pvp or battleground person but every once in a while when those come up i like to stay dabbling in it, especially when there are rings and trinkets that would give me a bit i think and i think a neck piece would get would give me better a uh, gear if i could go out and grind some of that that those honor points but i just i just don't have the time now sadly but i'm still trying to make an effort to still continue to do some of this and kind of use this as a tool for now 
uh, as the uh, for an aspect of it. Um, the uh, the raids and anything else that you ran that usually locks for the week, those will re unlock for you. And then the following week should be the final tier, so we can go after Sylvanas. And uh, you'll see here that I have the where is it the Sylvanas right here. I'm just waiting for us to go there, and that will give you a six two hundred and fifty for those as well so i think that's gonna kind of wrap it up this week i think we're gonna kind of leave it at that we uh really cut some time off i could go on and start babbling off on something else and then there goes the whole you know half hour but we're gonna kind of leave it at that i think we'll kind of leave it there i think we should it's kind of mid august for anyone else that's suffering through this humidity uh share your experience what you're doing with it right now i'm gonna go turn my ac on and go chill out uh, this afternoon. I need to because I thought it was going to be another stressful Saturday and I really really hope it's still going not going to be as much and I'm like you know what let's get this done before I sit down to have my yogurt and then I can go sit down in front of the fan and the AC and cool off because I can already feel it he heating up in here. It's the humidity is supposed to break tonight. The last few nights I pretty much just crashed on the couch the last couple nights it was so uncomfortable I couldn't sleep very good. I had the AC on up in my room, but, and I meant to, I turned it on early so I could go up to my room and be able to crash on it. But uh, it's, oh, and then I did, um, for a quick update, well, one last quick update I wanted to mention. Um, I did get to check on my uh, eyes. We did get a new, I hadn't been able to get an eye appointment uh, in for about three years. So thankfully my, my eyes look really good. I don't have to come back for two more years. That's when I hit, uh, so um, that's good. It very old uh, when I finally do that uh, next time. So that's good. But to be honest, if after surgery, I can't be wearing glasses for almost a year. That's a story for a different day as we get closer or and or after. And we'll have to kind of see how it plays out too. And it's gonna need like a year for this to set in place. So I would do contacts, but I'm having part of my upper skull being worked on also. And that's going to be hard to be lifting um, skin to get uh, a contact put in. So it's going to be very, very, very difficult. There's a lot of things that are getting in the way. And I'm going to have trouble breathing. Um, and there's a whole list of things that go with this. There's pros and cons. And I know there's a bunch of people that have already tried to talk me out of it. And we're not going to get into that conversation. But I just want to give you a little update on that info uh, as well. That I was able to at least get one good thing I, I did accomplish this week too. Not just the other stuff. Was, um, I got my, my prescriptions updated. And good news, just to share with you all. The good news is my prescriptions pretty much have not changed. I am getting new lenses coming in a couple weeks. So you guys may see some new... Um, <clears throat> Lisa Loeb type glasses that look a little bit more like that um, that I found and I found a couple of neat little colors. I They're giving me one for up close. I think that's like a pink frame and then the more of the Lisa Loeb type look. I think you'll see those in a couple weeks when those come in. Um, I'll have to see how that transition goes. They did put that, that pupil stuff in my eye yesterday so pretty much the whole day I was like everything was a slight blur around me and I did have at least my big sunshades to put over my eyes to protect my eyes for the afternoon and it was a little rough and I'm like, like I was telling uh, a couple of folks I know I was like I'd rather just like close my eyes until that kind of fades and but anyway, I think with that take two things really kind of contemplate what's getting you through your week are you getting ready to go back to school share with me your back to school experience are you finally excited that this is not the year you have to go back to school share that um, are you going to go back to are there someone in your family going back feel free to share that down below um, when are you going back to school some people have already gone back some people never stopped some are doing it after labor day some are doing it the week before labor day so Feel free to share that. Call me in the morning and then those that know how we end this, we will 